So in the previous lesson, we learned how to solve quadratics by factoring, um, but now we're going to learn how to solve quadratics by taking square roots. So we use this when we have a linear binomial squared. So when we have a binomial squared like this, this is when we're going to solve by taking square roots. So the steps are to isolate the squared binomial, then we're going to take the square root of both sides, um, and then we're going to isolate the variable. Okay, so looking at example one, First thing we're going to do is we're going to isolate the squared binomial. So we're going to subtract 1 from both sides. So then I have x minus 1 squared equals 17 minus 1 is 16. And then we're going to take the square root. So what we learned is that um, the square root of 16 isn't just 4. It's positive 4 and negative 4. So we have x minus 1 equals plus or minus 4. And now we're going to split this into two equations. Okay, so we have x minus 1 equals positive 4, and we have x minus 1 equals negative 4. Now we just solve. Add 1, so x equals 5. There's one solution. And then add 1 here, so my other solution is x equals negative 3. All right, now we're going to look at example 2. So example 2. Um, we, the squared binomial is already isolated, so we're going to go straight into step two, which is taking the square root. So I have x plus 8 equals the square root of 50, but then we have to simplify the square root of 50. Remember the way we do that, we list out our factors of 50. So we have 1 and 50, 2 and 25, um, 5 and 10. Uh, and that's it. And then we look for the largest perfect square, and that's going to be 25. So we can rewrite this as the square root of 25 times the square root of 2, which is 5 times the square root of 2. So we're just going to replace that for the square root of 50. And remember, we have the positive and negative, so 5 root 2. Then from here, we're going to break it into 2, so x plus 8 equals 5 root 2. And we have x plus 8 equals negative 5 root 2. And now we just solve. So subtract 8 from both sides. And these aren't considered like terms because one's a square root and one's not. So the way we write this is we usually write the square root part first, or the square root part last. So we have negative 8 plus 5 root 2. There's one answer. And my other answer here, we subtract 8, same thing. We can't combine these two terms because one is a square root and one is not. So we get x equals negative 8 minus 5 root 2. The other way you could write this, since it's pretty much the exact same thing except for one's positive, one negative, you could write it as x equals negative 8 plus minus 5 root 2. So that's another way you could write the answer. All right, last one, example three. So the square binomial is already isolated, so we're going to go straight to taking the square root of both sides. So we get 4x minus 5 equals, and then we got to rewrite square root of 18. So listing out my factors of 18, I have 1 and 18, 2 and 9, uh, and 3 and 6. So the largest perfect square is going to be 9. So we're going to, we can rewrite this as the square root of 9 times the square root of 2. And the square root of 9 is 3. So we're going to place, replace that with the square root of 18. And remember, we have the positive and negative. All right, now we're going to isolate our variable. So, um, or we're going to break this into 2. So 4x minus 5 equals 3 root 2. And I have 4x minus 5 equals negative 3 root 2. And now we're going to solve. So add 5. And again, these aren't like terms, so it's 5 plus 3 root 2. And then I have one more step in this one. I have to divide by 4. So we have 5 plus 3 root 2 over 4. All right, this last one, uh, I'm going to add 5 to both sides. 
So I have 4x equals 5 minus 3 root 2, and then divide by 4. So I have x equals 5 minus 3 root 2 over 4. All right, now I'm going to go over a few of the practice problems. So starting with number 1. So first thing I need to do is isolate my binomial squared. So I'm going to subtract 2. So I have x plus 5 squared equals 15 minus 2 is 13. Now I'm going to take the square root of both sides. So square root of 13 can't be simplified because the only thing that multiplies to make it is 1 and 13. So we're just going to leave it as plus or minus the square root of 13. And now we're going to break it into 2. So we have x plus 5 equals positive square root of 13. And x plus 5 equals negative square root of 13. To solve, subtract 5. And these aren't like terms. We write it as negative 5 plus the square root of 13. And then this one, subtract 5. So we get x equals negative 5 minus the square root of 13. All right, number four. So we, the, we don't need to isolate our binomial since it's already isolated. So we're going to take the square root of both sides. And we simplified square root of 18 before. Just remember that simplifies to 3 times the square root of 2 because you could rewrite square root of 18 as square root of 9 times square root of 2. And square root of 9 is 3. So I'm just going to replace this here. And it's a positive and negative 3 root 2. And now to solve, we're going to split into 2. So 2x plus 5 equals positive 3 root 2. And 2x plus 5 equals negative 3 root 2. So subtract 5. And then divide by 2. So negative 5 plus 3 root 2 over 2 is one solution. And then the same thing over here, subtract 5. And then divide by 2. So the solving is going to be the same for both equations. The only thing that's different is the sign of the um, square root. Now I have my two solutions. All right, one more here, number five. Uh, I'm going to add one to both sides. So I have 3x minus 7 equals 81. And then we're going to take the square root. So 81 is a perfect square. And the square root of 81 is positive and negative 9. Now we're going to split into two. So 3x minus 7 equals positive 9, and 3x minus 7 equals negative 9. So add 7 and then divide by 3. There's one solution. And then here add 7. So 3x equals negative 2 and then divide by 3. So x equals negative 2 thirds.